Hello, my loves. Scripting, one of my very favorite methods to manifest, and I have broken it down into four easy steps to follow. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through how to use scripting to manifest your desires, and make them come easier and faster than ever. If you're new here, I am Jacqueline. Welcome to my channel where I talk about manifestation and all things healing to become the best version of yourself. So scripting is a law of attraction technique where you write down what you want to manifest to bring a specific goal into your current reality through your written words. Now this is a very powerful technique. So let's get started. Believe that you can do this. I know you can do this. You can manifest. Let's set your intention and raise your vibration. You're gonna need a pen and a piece of paper. I prefer a journal because I just, every time I look at it, it just makes me feel good. I feel like it helps raise my vibration. It makes me happy just to see the journal. So I definitely recommend actually writing out on paper versus like typing in your phone. It feels more like it's bringing it into the current reality by hand writing it. So step one is going to be like always to get clear on what you want. Really think about what you wanna manifest, have it in your mind, even if you need to, sometimes I will just jot down some ideas of what I exactly want to focus on. So step one, jot down some ideas, get clear, set your intentions of like, okay, I want to manifest this goal or this goal. It doesn't have to just be one, you can do um, more than one. I say just do what feels right to you and then you're gonna actually write them down and I will take that into the next step. So step two, you may have already guessed, is the written part. We're gonna write down what we want to manifest. So use present tense and I am statements. So be as clear and detailed as possible and write it as if it's already happened, as if you've already received it. So I am so thankful for my dream car, my dream career, my special person, I'm so thankful for X amount of dollars in my bank account every month. What you hear continually, you believe. So write it as if it's already true and let your imagination run wild. One more thing that you need to check for when you're writing your sentences about what you want to manifest is negative words. So for example, if you wrote, I am so thankful I am debt free. Debt is a negative word. It makes you feel heavy inside. And you don't want to write that to attract any more of that into your life. So you would want to take a negative word and rephrase it to something like, I am so thankful I have financial freedom and money flows to me easily. So go through your list, whether it's one thing you write you want to manifest in step two or multiple of them, and make sure that you don't have any negative words. And if you do, just rephrase them to something positive. So that'll be step two, writing a sentence or two about what it is you want in the present tense as I am statements. And then I'll take you over into step three where we will write about our feelings. So step three, you're going to write down how it makes you feel to have what you desire, what you are manifesting. So this is the secret to manifesting the emotions that you have and expressing them is the key. So you're gonna write down your emotions and how it makes you feel to have what you're manifesting as if you've already had it. Now, I've done this technique multiple times and manifested multiple things, so I'm gonna take you through my process and what I wrote down personally uh, to show you kind of how it works. So let me show you now. So I did this scripting technique of manifesting in 2020 when I wanted to manifest more money into my bank account through my business. So let me read you what I personally wrote. I wrote, I am so grateful for making X amount of dollars every month. I am so thankful for my abundance of wealth and money in my bank account. It feels so amazing to be so successful. I feel so accomplished and independent. Thank you universe, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, this is just one example that I did in that scripting in 2020 that I wanted to share with you. Um, this all came true, like the exact amount that I wrote down came all into my bank account. I make that much money now in my bank account every month. Like 
that blew my mind. Like I went back and looked and I was like, oh my gosh, that is the exact amount I wrote. And now that is what I am making. Now, the one thing that I learned through this was I thought it would come through that business that I had then, but the universe had better plans for me. And in a short time, I had actually made a second business and the money came through that one. So just to recap the letter, basically I wrote about two sentences of what I wanted and then about two sentences about how having what I wanted made me feel. And then I always love to end it with like thanking the universe, thank you, really getting into that feeling of gratitude. So short and simple, there is an abundance in life and you can attract anything that you want. It's all about your vibration and positivity. If you are uh, positive and emoting that, you're gonna attract that back into your life. But if you're being negative and low, then you're gonna attract more of what you don't want, more negativity in your life. We are always creating our reality. Remember, if you're feeling negativity, you are gonna to continue to think negative thoughts, feel the same feelings, take the same actions, do the same things, and attract the same stuff in life. If you want to bring your manifestations in, then you need to change your consciousness, change the way you think to raise your energy so that will amplify your manifestations and bring them towards you. Okay, so when you are changing your vibration and you're changing your frequencies, because thoughts are frequencies, when you are raising your vibration, you're gonna get inspired action. This is the law of attraction. You will be inspired to do things differently, live your life differently. Like for me, I was inspired to start that second business, which brought in the exact amount of money that I wrote down in the scripting technique to manifest. You may be inspired to go to a dinner date with a friend and that might lead to finding your special person. When you align with your desires, the frequencies of those desires, you will be attracted to them as well as them being attracted to you. So step four is to read your scripting letter to yourself every day, twice a day if you can. Read it in the morning, first thing when you wake up. Instead of hopping on your social media and browsing that, grab your letter and read it. Read it with all the emotions that you wrote it with and raise that vibration for the day. Also at night, right before you go to bed, same thing. Read it, really feel the feelings. This is the, the biggest part is to Read it and then feel the feelings as if it's already yours. So you go to sleep feeling so amazing, feeling that high vibrational state and playing it on a loop almost as you fall asleep. Then I feel like the, the biggest next question that everybody's gonna ask is how long do I read the letter for? How long do I read this to myself? And first of all, it doesn't matter if you read it out loud or quietly. I normally do it quietly. I feel like it's preference, but for how long to read it for, um, I say trust your intuition, like what feels right to you. For me personally, I go for about 30 days. Now it can happen faster than that, or it can take more time depending on how much resistance you have for your manifestation. Maybe it might take you longer, but 30 days feels like a good marker for me where I feel like I have it set in and I can trust the universe and the process. The important part is to not have desperate energy. You don't want to be thinking the thoughts like, oh, is this, is my manifestation going to happen? Is this, is this going to work? Or when is it going to come? Or why has it not worked yet? This, this we don't want. No, we wrote down our orders to the universe. We're feeling our high vibrational state, raising our vibration as if our desires are already our current reality, we are going to trust the universe and be open to receive, take any uh, inspired actions in the process and know that our manifestations are already on their way to us. Okay, so to recap, step one, we are going to get clear on what we want. Step two, we are gonna write down in our journal what we want in the present tense with I am statements. Step three, do a couple sentences about how that makes you feel. And step four, we're gonna read the letter to ourselves every day and feel the feelings and raise our vibrational state. Say thank you to the universe. Some extra tips, um, if it feels good to you to read it out loud, like if that feels more confident to you, you feel like it makes it more real to bring it into reality, then read it out loud. 
Also a little magic with manifesting is to envision and visualize these manifestations that you are attracting as often as you can or like, because the more you can embody it and feel it, the faster it'll come to you. And sometimes for me, I think I've mentioned before in other videos, which I will leave links down below, but is right before I fall asleep at night to play it in my head and to feel it. Or if you have extra time throughout the day, sit down for like 10 minutes a day and take your scripting letter and read it and then sit there and kind of meditate on your letter and visualize the scenes playing out in your mind as if they already happened while you feel those feelings. So those are two extra bonus tips that will help this actually already really powerful technique just be even more powerful. Just so you know, when I use this scripting technique to manifest the amount of money that I wanted in my bank account each month, I just wrote down what I wanted and refreshed like reading it every day. Uh, now I know I love to do the extra visualization to like supercharge it, but I didn't actually get to visualize the, the money that I was manifesting. Like I didn't do the visualization process. So don't feel overwhelmed if you're like, oh, I can't write that down and read it every day and try to visualize it. Like you don't have to do it all. Make it easy. When I manifested this money, I just wrote it and read it and it's easy. It only takes a couple minutes each day. I just want to give you extra tips to help because I love it and I love making things easy and I'm impatient. And so I want to do things as fast as possible. So the more I can find small times in my day to help visualize it and raise my frequency to attract it faster, the more I will. So I just want to share those tips with you, but don't feel stressed about it. Just do the scripting if that feels good to you. And if you can do extra visualization, then do it. So I shared the personal story about the money. Another thing I use this exact technique for in this way is manifesting my dream car. So I now have that. I love it. I hope this video helped you and helped raise your vibration. If it did, give me a thumbs up. If there are any other manifesting techniques that you would like to see, leave them in the comments below. If there's any stories that you have to share or manifesting that you did yourself, let me know in the comments below. Hit subscribe as always if you'd like some more manifesting videos from me and ring the bell to be notified when I post a new video. See you next time.